Hey there everybody, just want to share some quick updates with you. Uh, I don't know if you've been following the Tiny Edit project. I've had it up uh, for download since earlier this week and um, I just wanted to share with you some big improvements that I've made on that. It's still a young project but it's really coming along. Um, the main thing that I've changed here is the ability to create tiled pages. Um, let's just go ahead and create a new workspace here. I'm going to import an image asset and I'm going to grab my original world tile set here. And I'm going to set the asset type to a tile set and import that. I'm going to perform a little quick cleanup on it to get rid of some of the blank tiles. what I will do is import another one and this is this is what I've added the ability to import more than one and actually cycle through them um, so I should be able to select swamp here I'm going to go ahead and call this asset swamp and that will send that asset name to the game engine And then I will hit the import button and as you can see a new tile set has been created and what I can do is page up and down through those tile sets and use them as I desire so I can take these set them to blocked down to my other tile set, so some block tiles. And the cool thing is I can use both of these tile sets to build a single map and both image sets should be saved into the map file and loaded by our game engine. So this has been a huge improvement. Okay, I think I got all those. I just set my water tiles to blocked. All right, so we have both those tile sets I want. I'm going to save my workspace. Replace my old one. And I'm going to make a quick swamp for you. I just created this uh, new tiny tile set minutes ago, so it's a little rushed. some thicker grass fill in some tiles over here thicken it up a little created some mushroom tiles I'll drop a few of those in there um, made some little lily pad tiles here I can put along the inlets Fun. All right, I'm take a little water rock out there, put it in the water. A little stick I'm very proud of. It's a swamp without without some dead trees. Grab these fun little things. Say, I really have no reference for them. I just thought it'd be cool to have some exotic weeds. And uh, let's see, put a couple more over here. And some of this thicker swamp grass would be nice. Those are all passable tiles. Nice to have some heavier reeds there. Along the 
the shoreline. Okay, let's see. I think that's all of my tiles. Oh, forgot big rocks. Some little obstacles in the environment. That's always kind of nice. And um, add NPCs. How about that? That'd be fun. So, whoop, I haven't imported any. So if I come over here to my importer, go to my tunes folder, I'm going to select my female ranger. I'll just call her female. Oh, I'll just call it female ranger. How about that? Now the asset type on this one is going to be an NPC, and I'm going to import it. And you'll notice that that does not set my tile page up. Um, I do not get a separate tile page for her because she's not a tile set. Um, now when I come to my add NPC, I should be able to add my female ranger. You can give her a name if you like. Um, let's see. Flora here this is very intriguing. And then I'll place her on the map. Let her run around. And let's see, I think that's everything I wanted to add. Uh, if I really wanted to, I, sh I could grab tiles from both of these tile sets. Um, say I wanted a portal off this island. I could like set one here. Now, because I haven't actually created any terrain objects or object lists, I have like a default background on these tiles um, as the grass for the overworld, so that does show up in the background there. Um, what I could do is take my castle, I'll create like a little place there so it doesn't look so off. Um, but that shows you that I can use both tile sets in this uh, new map. So I can add a start location, say uh, I entered through the portal. You know, I could uh, give that a teleport location. Um, let's see here, my trigger builder should be working as well. So I could say um, load map. I have no idea what maps I have in my directory here. I think I have one called, well, I guess I can just look, huh? Edit. Actually, I want to look in my game project folder because that's where it's going to be loading from. And I have hometown, swamp, weird, overworld. I'm going to do hometown. Hopefully that will be okay. I don't know if I created that in this version, so it might crash it. But we'll just try it. Teleporter hometown. I'll create a trigger. I'll place it on that. Looks like it placed properly. Um, come back here, throw a couple more lilies in for giggles. And I think we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is save that map. And I'm going to call it... I don't want to save it in tiny other than just save it in my game folder. Game debug. I'm going to replace my other swamp map. Yes, please. So, I should be able to. I don't even think I have to close that. I guess we'll find out in a minute, huh? So, I'm going to load it up and see if it loads properly. Yay, look at that! walk around this tiny little swamp island. The stones, oh, I forgot to block the stones. The water is blocked. But you can kind of see how that works. Can make those blocks so I couldn't walk over them. We can talk to her. Uh, the flora here is very intriguing. Just like I told her. Now this might crash it if my other map is not properly configured. Oh, it worked, sweet. So it took me back to my hometown. How awesome is that? Oh, it looks like I created some... Well, I'm not even sure what I did with these guys. 
Once you leave, you can't return. You don't say. Let's see what this guy has to say. I'm gathering goods to sell you. Come back soon. Wonder. <laughs> I have no idea where this portal's gonna take me. Ah, oh, took me to a cave. Be safe, Red Marvin. Wow. Apparently, I was a little further along here than I uh, remembered being. Oh, how can I get to the castle? I want to see what's in there. Well, that didn't do us much good. You're right, we're trapped on an island. I wonder if I can go back in the cave. Yes, I can. Takes me to my default position, so that needs to be uh, redirected with an override in the trigger. Pretty sweet, though. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, this project will be available for download from my website, so feel free to stop by there if you like and give it a download. I hope you have fun with it. It's uh, still pretty buggy. Uh, there's still some issues with it, of course. Lots of improvements to be made to the interface, but still fun to play with, and I hope it helps you out and you can look at the source code and uh, see how it's made and get ideas for your own map editors and games and stuff. So. Have fun and take care. Bye-bye.